All righty. Welcome to the Mesa Public Schools College Fair. We're so excited to have you participating in this event. We have some fantastic schools here with us today. Each will have six minutes to share more about their institution, but we'll be around for the entire session to answer your questions. My name is Chelsea and I will be your facilitator. Before we get started, a few housekeeping announcements. Your camera and microphone are off, so panelists cannot see or hear you, but you are welcome to use the Q&A button on your screen to type questions to our presenters at any time. This is one of many sessions happening this evening, uh, so feel free to check back to the schedule on the website and sign up for more sessions. If you miss one or you wanna watch one again, uh, the presentation is being recorded and will be available at strivescan.com slash greater Arizona. And now I'm gonna turn it over to our first presenter and that is Acadia University. Is everyone able to see my screen? Yes. Okay, perfect. Hi everyone, my name is Clara and I'm an international enrollment advisor at Acadia University. So I just graduated from Acadia's kinesiology program this past May. Acadia is located in a small town on the east coast of Canada called Wolfville. That's about an hour away from the city of Halifax. Acadia's student population is about 3,500 students and an average class size of 32 students. We have a professor to student ratio of 14 to one. So you're able to create a close relationship with your professors as well as other students in the class. We've been rated top five as an undergraduate university in Canada, as well as top five of an undergraduate university in Nova Scotia. We have four faculties with 30 uh, majors and over 200 degree options. Our first faculty is the arts faculty. So here's a list of some of our uh, programs and our economics and psychology programs are available as a Bachelor of Arts or a Bachelor of Science. Our Pure and Applied Science program allows students to work in a hands-on learning environment by having a class um, with a lab component in everything. So this is hands-on and you're able to work alongside your peers as well as professors and your TAs to create a better understanding of the course content. Our professional studies programs include our business, community development, education, kinesiology, and music programs. An interesting part of the professional studies program is our kinesiology program, which has an athletic therapy option. So students are able to work alongside our varsity teams as a junior athletic therapist. And our last faculty is theology. So you're able to take a bachelor of theology through Acadia's Divinity College. Acadia has 12 residents on campus and you are able to choose from a single, double or deluxe room along our 12 residences. A good thing about our residents is that our campus is really small, so you're able to walk from class to your residence super fast. Acadia also has a dining hall which is open seven days a week from 7 a.m. until 10 p.m. You are able to get a meal plan with unlimited swipes. You can enter as many times as you want in the day. Also, Acadia has a My Pantry section, so if you are interested in cooking your own food, you can request ingredients to be put in the fridge and you can cook for yourself. As well, if you have any dietary restrictions, the meal hall will be able to accommodate you for that and prepare your food in a separate section. Admission requirements are five university level courses, including English, and most of our programs require academic or pre-calculus math. And then depending on the program, there may be other prerequisites required, but you can check on our website or just send me an email. Last year, we awarded over $4 million in scholarships to our international students and 80% of our international students received a scholarship. Whenever students apply to Acadia, they are automatically evaluated to have an entrance scholarship. And we also have program specific scholarships that are available to be applied for. We have one of the highest ranked co-op programs in the company in the country. So um, co-op is where students go out and work in their field of interest and they work with an organization for three work terms. They can choose three of the same workplaces or three different ones and they average $10,000 of earnings. So this allows them to have up to one year of experience when they graduate. Getting involved on campus, there are over 80 clubs and ways to get involved. And if you don't see a club that you're interested in, we have resources on campus that you can create your own. We have also club sports, which include cheer, rugby, dance, baseball, etc. And the club sports, some are recreational and some go to tournaments and compete. We also have varsity sports such as basketball, hockey, volleyball, rugby, etc. And if you are interested in the varsity sports, there are tryouts, but I can connect you with the coaches if that's something that may be interesting for you. 
We also have employment opportunities both on and off campus. When I went to Acadia, I worked at the gym on campus and there are tons of other employment opportunities for students. And lastly is our Wong International Center, which is a hub of student support for international students. So students are able to go there and study or there's a kitchen there. And then they also host events for the international students. And there's also immigration consultants and other advisors there that can help the students. If Acadia interests you or you'd like to know more, you can head to our website and complete an application form. And uh, you can provide us with an up-to-date tr transcript and your grade 12 course list. If you would like to scan this QR code, it can give you some more information. You'll be registered through our emails and we'll send you some emails on some more updates about Acadia if this is something that interests you. And finally, um, if you have any questions, I put my information here so you can send me an email if you have any questions. Thank you. Awesome, thank you so much. Next up is Queen's University. Hi everyone. My name is Andre and I'm excited to be with you today and to have this opportunity to talk to you about Queen's University. First, I'd like to acknowledge that Queen's University is situated on the territory of the Haudenosaunee and Anishinaabek. We are grateful to be able to live, learn, and play on these lands. So we are located in Canada in the beautiful and historic waterfront city of Kingston, Ontario, just on the northeastern shore of Lake Ontario. By Canadian standards, Queen's is a mid-sized university with approximately 24,000 students. So Queen's holds a significant place in our country's history. In fact, Queen's was founded in 1841, 26 years before Canadian Confederation. We have over 180 years of experience educating future leaders from around the world. And although we are a university with lots of fun traditions, what continues to make Queen's one of the best universities in Canada is its continued commitment to innovation, research, teaching, and student support. So we wanna know that Queen's, yes, you'll be challenged, but while you are being challenged, we will be there with an amazing array of so services and supports. And if you embrace the challenge and take advantage of the support we offer, then we're confident that you will succeed. So something I'd like to highlight is our major maps. So this is put on by our career services and this allows um, interested students to go to our website and type in their major or program of choice and find really dive into um, what goes into that degree and what you can get out of it. So um, you can go to our website you eventually find a list of major major maps for each major or program, like I said, and each major map is incredibly useful content. So a great description of the program or major, what key courses to take in first year, how to get connected on campus and how to get real world experience and how to even prepare for life after graduation. So getting the courses you need, no matter what you choose to study at Queens, you can make your degree as unique as you are. Choose courses from astrophysics to Latin, to commerce, to history. You'll get to take advantage of in instructional styles such as blended learning, integrating face-to-face -face learning with online learning, and you'll be engaged with world-class professors and learning from those professors in innovative teaching spaces. There is something for everyone at Queen's and the opportunity to get relevant experience goes well beyond the classroom. Everything from arts to athletics or perhaps a club to complement your interests. There are also summer work experience opportunities, such as on-campus research, or maybe an entrepreneurial opportunity for you. So while many, many universities have co-op, we offer an internship program. So this internship program is between 12 and 16 months uh, in duration, and generally students go and participate in their second or third year. During their internship, they get an opportunity to gain real world experience, make a real difference and build their resume. Many of these internships are paid with an average salary of $45,000. And of course, throughout your time at Queens, we will encourage you to start thinking globally because we live in a global community and we engage in a global marketplace. So consider taking advantage of an exchange or study abroad opportunity with one of the numerous international universities that we partner with around the world. I'd also like to highlight our international campus. So we also have a, another campus in East Sussex, England called Bader College. And it's one of the only opportunities that students have uh, within Canada to go abroad in their first year. So you can do your whole first year abroad uh, at Bader College 
or you can even go for a semester abroad or a summer. So lots of different options to uh, participate and uh, take advantage of the, of the castles, we call it. So I'd like to highlight uh, our retention rate. So what the attention, retention rate is, the, the amount of successful students going from first year to second year. So Queen's attracts some of the best undergraduate students from across Canada and from around the world. And as you can see, our retention rate is one of the strongest in Ontario, if not Canada. And we take our promise to support our students seriously. Next, I'd like to highlight our graduation rate. So not only do our students make a successful adjustment to university life, they continue to significantly outperform the average when it comes to progressing through their studies and graduating on time. We also have a very high employment rate within the, the, the first six months of, after graduation, our graduates move into the marketplace as very sought after and employable professionals. So quickly, I'll just show you all of the different programs that we offer. Um, so like I said, we are a medium sized institution, but we do have all of the uh, program offerings of a larger institution. Um, so anything from uh, engineering to arts to um, business, we, we, do, we do have it all. So how to apply? We are on uh, the Common App, uh, but we're also on the Ontario University Application Center. Um, and you can apply both ways, whatever is easiest for you. If you're looking to apply to more than one Ontario University, I would recommend applying on OUAC. Um, all right, I will leave it at that due to time, but uh, happy to, to uh, answer any questions anyone may have. Thank you. Wonderful, thank you. Next is Bishop's University. All right, I'll just share my screen. Can everybody see this? Yes. Okay, perfect. All right. So my name is Shelby and I'm from Bishop's University. I'm actually a recent grad. Um, so Bishop's is located in Quebec, Canada. We are a small liberal arts university. We're less than 3000 students total. We're a diverse campus. So every year we have between 20 and 30% of our student population is international students. Um, here we are on the map. We are actually 40 minutes from the US border and we are, that's the Vermont US border. We're also bordered with Maine and New York. Um, Montreal is an hour and a half away from us. So you might have heard of the other English universities in Quebec, which is McGill and Concordia. Those are the big city ones with 14,000 population downtown in Montreal. We're that other option that's a little bit more rural, smaller, a little bit more tight knit, but Montreal is only an hour and a half away. So if you're really interested in concerts, museums, stuff like that, it's really close by. There are a lot of things to do in the Eastern townships, especially if you're a really outdoorsy person. There's a lot of hiking. We're connected to a golf course on campus and students play for really cheap. There's also Wellington Street in Sherbrooke. And that's, I think, Putin Fest that you can see in the photos. That's where all the, the pubs and boutiques are. Lots of stuff in the summer, lots of stuff in the winter. And Bishops is located in a town called Lenoxville. And it's an English town, even though it's in Quebec, because of the English College and English University is pretty much a student town. And then Sherbrooke, 10 minutes away, that's more of a city, population of 200,000. That's where you have, you know, your big malls, your big restaurants. So more exciting stuff is close by if you want the city. So we have 106 programs, 90% of those are undergraduate programs in five different divisions. We have social sciences, school of education, natural sciences and math, humanities, and our Williams School of Business. A couple of new programs is the human resources and business and the business technology analytics program. And then we've also added a couple of new graduate certificates. If you're interested in pursuing those a little bit later, here are some photos pertaining to some of our new programs like the food and food systems and agriculture and also our musical theater department in drama. 
you don't know what you want to do yet, that's perfectly normal. We're liberal arts, meaning you can mix and match majors and minors, things that are completely unrelated if you have multiple interests. And 70% of our grads actually graduate from a different program they applied into. So you can discover what you really like and we're here for that. This is some pictures of our library, the cafe inside, the ITS department. If you're good with technology, you can actually work for ITS and get paid for it. Um, there's the English Writing Center upstairs, so you can actually do walk-in appointments, get stuff grammar checked, resumes, they help you with that. There's also the Student Success Center upstairs with peer tutoring, you can be a peer tutor. This is our sports complex. There is the health clinic inside, the sports medicine clinic. If you're interested in sports studies, athletic development, kinesiology, stuff like that, you can actually intern right there in our sports medicine clinic. There is also a pool that's open all year round. You can be a lifeguard there. We have a rink, of course, that's open all year round. And the Tim Hortons is right across the hall. These are the varsity level teams that we offer. Everything is tryout based, nobody gets scouted. So it's really equal opportunity. You get to move into campus two weeks early. A senior takes you on, eats with you, shows you around. Um, and then orientation weeks right after that, you've already made some friends and then classes start a week after that. So it's a really good opportunity. You can go to the gators.ca website to do the rookie form and that's our sports opportunities. If there's something you're interested in that you don't see there, it's probably offered at the intramural or club level. There's over 100 different clubs that we offer. There's something for everybody. As for residents, the residences are actually right across from the sports complex. They're right in the middle of campus. This is the newest residence building. It's going to be ready by Christmas time. It's going to be modified bog style. I'll show you what that means. That's actually on the left, that's the most popular thing where you only have to share the shower and toilet with one other person. As a first year, you can apply to any of these residences. You can have a car on campus. You can choose if you're more social or more introverted. As for admissions requirements, it's an 80% average and above for all of our programs with an 80% being the minimum. Um, if you're just under that, I still encourage you to apply, especially if it's a program that we want more people in, such as women in STEM or philosophy, something like that. We look at your top five grades. And you can find us on the Common app. And we are also under the UAC, even though we're in Quebec. Um, these are the tuition and fees. If for Canadian students, if you have your Canadian citizenship, these are the fees as an international student. And these are just some important things for going to our website to fill out an application on ubishops.ca and some dates and deadlines. And we have a virtual open house on November 5th if you wanna come check us out and you can actually get a free application if you attend. Thank you. Awesome, thank you. Alrighty, next up is the University of Richmond. All right, let me share my screen real quick. All right. It starts within you. An idea. A passion. A desire to change the world. And a drive to challenge yourself. It starts within you, and it leads here to the University of Richmond. Located on a beautiful 350-acre wooded campus just minutes away from downtown Richmond, we are a private university that gives you the best of both worlds, all the economic, professional, cultural, and social resources of a capital city coupled with the vibrant, diverse, and inclusive community of our suburban college campus. From pristine Atlantic beaches to the Blue Ridge Mountains to our nation's capital, our central location can readily connect you to world-class cultural, recreational, educational, and professional opportunities. But it's the opportunities available right here on campus that are truly impressive. The University of Richmond is home to three undergraduate schools, the School of Arts and Sciences, the Robbins School of Business, 
and the Jepson School of Leadership Studies. However, there are no direct entry programs for any of these schools. What does that mean for you? Well, there's no pressure to immediately declare your major. Once you enroll, you'll have time and access to explore more than 100 majors, minors, and concentrations. Our average class size is only 16 students, all taught by real professors, no teaching assistants. We're also committed to undergraduate research and mentorship opportunities. That means you'll get the kind of personal attention you need when narrowing down your choices. Can't decide on one major? No worries. More than two-thirds of our students pursue multiple areas of study. We admit the most talented, accomplished students. Then we do everything we can to ensure you can bring your talents here. That includes meeting 100% of demonstrated financial need for all admitted students. When you're not in class, well, that's where the vibrant community we mentioned really comes into play. Over 90% of our students choose to live right here on campus. We're also home to more than 180 student organizations, from academic, cultural, leadership, religious, and honor societies, to fine and performing arts, service organizations, and Greek life. If you have an interest in it, chances are there's an organization here waiting for you to join. Searching for something a little more competitive? Look no further than our intramural athletics or the 17 teams of our NCAA Division I Richmond Spiders. The Richmond experience isn't limited to what you can do on campus, though. 67% of spiders study abroad through more than 70 programs across 35 countries. And when it comes to internships or research projects, we won't just encourage you, we can help you fund them. The Richmond Guarantee ensures that every undergraduate is eligible to receive up to $4,000 for an unpaid or underpaid summer internship or faculty mentored research project. And does it pay off? In short, yes. Every year, we host more than 150 career workshops and conduct more than 600 interviews with job recruiters right here on campus. And when you graduate, you'll join more than 51,000 spiders living and leading in all 50 states and 95 countries around the world. From Wall Street to Hollywood Boulevard to near Earth orbit, wherever you go, you'll find that spiders are everywhere. And that's a good thing. Our interconnected web and career preparation help 94% of our grads find employment within six months of graduation. So, what's your idea? Your passion? Bring us your dream and we'll help you achieve it. There's no telling just how far it will take you, but we can tell you where it starts. It starts within you and it thrives at Richmond. Okay. Um, let me stop sharing and go over to here really quickly. Okay. So just very briefly, I want to talk about our uh, deadlines. So our three application deadlines are November 1st, December 1st, and January 1st. So it's pretty easy to remember. Um, and then for financial aid, that is November 15th and February 1st. Three merit-based aid scholarships that we have that I want to talk about, um, starting with uh, the Richmond Scholars Program. This is equal to full tuition, room, and meals. It's a full ride to the University of Richmond, and it is given to about 25 students each year. The presidential scholarships are awarded to about 80 to 85 students each year, and it is equal to one-third tuition over eight semesters. Lastly, the Bonner Scholars Program is a bit of a unique scholarship. Basically, it's saying that you are committed to volunteering in the Richmond community in exchange for financial assistance. Finally, we are a need blind university, which means that we don't look at your family's financial information when determining whether or not to admit a student. We also meet 100% of demonstrated need, and we'll see that on your FAFSA and your CSS profile. But that is everything that I have, so thank you all very much. Wonderful, thank you. All right, next up is Rollins College. Thanks very much for that, Chelsea. My name is Frank Thomas. My pronouns are he, him, and his. And I am from Rollins College in Orlando, Florida. Uh, we are a small liberal arts college and 
if we, we feel like that wherever it is that your goals are taking you, whatever your dreams are for your, your future, Rollins College can help you make your tomorrow happen. So just to set the stage for you, we are a small liberal arts college with about 2,100 students located on these beautiful 85 acres on the shores of Lake Virginia. And if you look on the right side of your screen, far off into the distance, you'll see the buildings of downtown Orlando, Florida. So we're located about 20 minutes from downtown, 40 minutes from Disney, 60 minutes from the Atlantic beaches, although you don't have to drive an hour to the beach because we're one of the few colleges in America with a beach on campus. We're the oldest college in Florida and we've been providing a traditional liberal arts education here for nearly 150 years. Because of the beautiful campus, the engagement opportunities that you have with our faculty, the efforts we put into study abroad and many other things you're gonna hear tonight, Rollins College is consistently ranked the number one regional university in the South. As Florida's oldest college, about half of our students are Floridian. The other half are coming to us from more than 40 states and 60 countries. We are striving to make sure that our student body reflects the diversity of Orange County and Central Florida where we operate. And so we're aiming to have about a third of our students be students of color. Currently, we're just over a quarter of that. We're making the same efforts with our faculty and staff. And a lot of students are really asking one question when they engage with colleges. Is Rollins College right for me? And for us, that answer comes in the Rollins Gateway, which is our signature approach to the modern liberal arts education. It starts in the classroom with a future-proof education experience, but it continues with us challenging and pushing our students out into the world to put that liberal arts into action while they're still in school so that they can achieve those results they're looking for when they select a college. We're a small college, small class sizes. Your professor is going to know your name. You're going to know your professor's dog's names because you're going to see them walking around campus. And our faculty, while they're doing great research, recognize that their first priority is to our students in the classroom. Otherwise, they have no reason to be here. So we're consistently recognized for our commitment to undergraduate teaching, as well as our student faculty collaborative research program, where the student selects the area of study and research and then selects a faculty member to work with them. And the college will pay both of them a stipend over the summer to work on this individual research that the student has developed. But beyond that, we push, encourage, cajole, um, get our students out there into the world so that they can start engaging with the world around them while they're still students with us. More than three quarters of our students will study abroad at some point in their time with us. And a big part of that reason is because for your first study abroad, your financial aid package will go with you to help you pay for those costs. We have dozens of student organizations and almost two dozen Division II sports for students to participate in and a Division I men's and women's water ski program. A number of these sports are available as club and recreational activities on campus, including spike ball, quad ball, which used to be called Quidditch, and pickleball, which has become very popular since the pandemic. All of these things leading to the results that students are looking for, one of the highest placement rates in America, with 97% of our graduates working in graduate school or having made other plans within 12 months of graduation. Because of our strong relationships with some of the largest companies in the world and the most prestigious graduate schools in the world, the Rollins graduate isn't spending a lot of time looking for their next step. And I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that Orlando is so much more than just the mouse. Uh, it is a great place to live, fastest job growth in America from 21 to 22, a great place for recent college graduates, for starting a new business, for young professionals. We've got the seventh busiest airport in the world, so it's easy to get here um, and get to the rest of the world from Orlando. When you apply for admission, we are starting with your core coursework, and we are using an unweighted GPA and also analyzing and noting the rigor of your coursework and putting that into our evaluation. We have been test optional for 17 years now. Um, you'll see the mid 50% range of test scores for those who provide them, and about half of our students provide test scores every year. But you'll be considered for admission and for merit-based scholarship exactly the same, whether you provide a test score or not. These other items in the application, though, play just as important a role. And so give some serious attention to who you ask to recommend you, how you prioritize your involvement section, and what you choose to write about on that blank sheet of paper that is your essay or your personal statement. Rollins College does offer early decision 
but not early action. So we only offer the binding early decision agreement that students may use with one school. You see there are several benefits there on the screen as well as receiving your notification and financial aid package early. And note that that early decision deadline is November 15th. While there's multiple deadlines on the screen, I just want to focus on that November 15th date. It is our early decision deadline. It is my dad's birthday, and it is also our priority scholarship deadline for the regular decision non-binding application process. So whether you're planning to apply early or regular, meet that November 15th date here in about 20 days, get that off of your to-do list, and we'll be able to consider you for all of the scholarships we offer. When you apply for admission, you'll be considered for our merit-based scholarships automatically. The vast majority of our students are receiving some kind of financial aid from us, and because of not only our price point and the scholarships that we offer, but also the return on your investment, the value of your education, Rollins College is consistently ranked a top 10 best value school by U.S. News and World Report. My information is there over my shoulder, as well as our hashtags there on the screen, and I encourage you to contact us to learn more about Rollins College in Orlando, Florida. Thanks for your time. Thank you. All right, next up is Ohio Wesleyan University. Great, let me get my PowerPoint all ready to go here. And let me just do one other little thing. Looks like we might be having some technical difficulties on that end. Um, so we'll give her just a minute to jump back in. Sorry about that. That's never happened before. <laughs> Let me no share worries. my screen and I will get going right away. Okay. So can everybody see my screen? Yes. All right. Perfect. Um, let me just do one other thing. I'm happy to introduce Ohio Wesleyan to you. Uh, my name is Kristen Crosby, and I am a regional representative based in New England, and I also read all of our international applications. And um, tonight I'm going to introduce you to um, what makes Ohio Wesleyan special. And if there's one thing that I want people to take away about Ohio Wesleyan, to remember about Ohio Wesleyan is the word connection. Our signature program, our education is called the OWU Connection, and it was designed by OWU faculty. The OWU Connection is how we encourage our students to think big through interdisciplinary work, undergraduate research, and independent study projects, it also encourages students to have a global perspective or to go global. That could be through off-campus study experiences like traditional study abroad semesters, our travel learning courses, our theory to practice grant programs. And um, we have full funding for students to pursue individualized projects of interest to them. And then the third component of the OWU connection is to get real through internships, externships, and experiences that help students take what they've learned in the classroom and practice it in real world settings. And participating in the OWU connection is now part of the curriculum. Students are required to complete at least one connection experience. And again, we have funding for these experiences, but it's important to know that many students will complete more than one connection experience. So this slide here, Ava Blockstein, she is a great example of all of her connection pathways. So she started out at Ohio Wesleyan, um, majoring in zoology, minoring in fine arts and environmental studies, and with so many 
ideas in mind, she decided to try out all of those different paths. One way she did that was with a travel learning class that went to Costa Rica to study geography. She also had a summer internship at a nature preserve. And then she did another travel learning course, a biology class that went to the Galapagos Islands. Um, and they got to live in a ship together and travel to the different islands to study marine biology up close and personal. And she had other internships along the way. She got a grant to do research on endangered frogs in Panama. And she also interned at the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium. And today she's working in Alaska as a technician at the National Ecological Observatory Network. So the average class size at Ohio Wesleyan is only 15 students. We are a small university. We have about 1,400 students. About half of those students are from Ohio, 10% are international, and roughly 20% are students of color, 22% are first generation. And nearly 90% of students live on campus all four years. And about 40% of our students are varsity athletes and about a third participate in Greek life. So we have over 70 majors at Ohio Wesleyan from accounting to zoology. Um, we offer more majors than your typical liberal arts and sciences colleges or the other colleges that change lives. And our most popular majors include politics and government, business, health and human kinetics, zoology and psychology. We're located in the small, safe city of Delaware, Ohio. It's about 40,000 people, and within a two-minute walk, you can get to 40 restaurants, cafes, um, movie theater, grocery store, but we are just a 30-minute drive from Columbus, which is the fastest-growing city in the Midwest. It's actually larger than San Francisco. It's the capital city. It has a, an airport that you can get to two-thirds of the U.S. and Canada in under an hour and a half flight, and our students definitely take advantage of the proximity to Columbus. Um, it, we also are just a stone's throw away from cultural um, experiences and lots of opportunities to do internships in Columbus. And lastly, the last thing I will mention is that residence life um, has some amazing options from our newly renovated first year residence hall to brand new senior apartments. And in between your first and last year, you can live in small living units, which are theme houses um, pictured here in the upper right hand corner. And housing is guaranteed all four years. And in terms of financial aid and scholarships, we have scholarships that start at 15,000 up to full tuition. 99% of students receive scholarships or financial aid. And as you can see, the average aid package last year was 43,000 um, and change, bringing the average cost per student down to a little over 18,000. So studying at a private college does not have to mean um, it's out of reach. We strive to make it affordable for all of our students. And as I mentioned, scholarships up to full tuition and stackable scholarships for performing arts, leadership, and community service. So with that, um, feel free to take a picture of this page so you can discover Ohio Wesleyan a little bit deeper, and I'll conclude my presentation. Thank you. All right, uh, we are going to transition a little bit. I want to welcome everyone back on screen so we can hear from you all one more time. As you're doing that, I'm going to pose a quick question here for you. So what advice do you have for students who are going to be going through this process either now or in, in the future? Um, we'll go back up with uh, Acadia University to kick us off. Hi, everyone. Uh, so at Acadia, we understand that choosing university is a very big decision. And I think some advice would be choosing something, a path that's right for you. So whether that's choosing a program that's right for you, a location, whether you have uh, opportunities at the university and what your career path you would like to achieve is. So it's important to think about your own personal path and what you'd like to achieve in that. 
Thank you. Queen's University, what is your advice? Yeah, um, very, very similar to, to Acadia's. It's all, I think it's all about finding that right fit. So whether you wanna be in a big city, a small town, somewhere in between, just kind of thinking about uh, who you are now and what you wanna achieve over the next uh, three or four years and uh, just looking for that, that right fit, so to speak. So, and, and maybe going and checking out like a, a large school, a medium school, a couple of small schools and just seeing uh, what, what feels right. And I think you'll, you'll know it when you find it. Thank you. Yeah. Bishop's University, what is your advice? Hi. Um, my advice would be to explore. Take some things that might just be considered hobbies to you for fun if you have some extracurriculars. Not everyone's path is going to look the same. Even if two of you, both you and your friend want to be lawyers, your paths might be completely different. Someone might do criminology and the other person might do philosophy and you can end up in the same place. So there's lots of different paths. Don't think you have to just do one thing. Thank you. University of Richmond, what is your advice? Mine is also to explore, explore career paths, explore universities, you know, go on tours, go to virtual events. Um, just look stuff up online, just explore as much as possible, figure out what works best for you and what will make you the happiest in life. Um, so, you know, just find that right university, find that right career path and yeah, explore. Thank you. Rollins College, what is your advice? Yeah, basically every college in America has a tool online called the Net Price Calculator that allows you to put in some of your academic and family information, and it will pull in the cost and scholarship information for that college and give you a report that will show you the types of merit-based scholarship you should be eligible for based on the info you put in and the types of need-based aid you're eligible for and a bottom line estimated out-of-pocket cost. I've dropped ours into the chat, but every college has one that you can Google, and it's an important tool to use at the beginning of the process. Awesome. Thank you. And Ohio Wesleyan University, what's your advice? I would say um, not to try to feel rushed during this whole process. This will probably feel like one of the most stressful times in your life, but try to find enjoyment along the way, um, whether it's enjoying campus visits or learning things about yourself that you um, hadn't thought about, trying to see yourself in a new and positive light. Really focus on the positive things and don't let others make you feel rushed into getting it all done in the next few months. If you need to take your time to make your de decision, definitely take your time. And also remember that college admission officers are here to be your advocates. We are your contacts. We want to hear from you. And as you saw, when I turned off my Zoom <laughs> meeting, we're humans too. And, um, you know, we just want to connect with you on a real and genuine way. Absolutely. Thank you. It was all really great advice. I appreciate your insight. Um, I am going to wrap things up at this point. So I want to say a, a huge shout out. Thank you to all of our presenters. You put together a lot of great, useful information. So we appreciate that and your time this evening <clears throat> and our participants for spending uh, some time with us as well. When you close this window, there will be a link to a very quick survey. We appreciate any feedback you can provide. We do encourage you to check back to schedule, sign up for more sessions. The, there are two more this evening. Um, you'll be able to find all the recordings from this, this evening um, at Strive and.com slash greater Arizona. Uh, so thank you again. Have a wonderful rest of your evening.